For the most reliable and accurate heart rate measurements in Zwift, you're better off pairing a heart rate strap. I use a Wahoo Ticker X, which works over Bluetooth and AMP+. Plus. But if you have an Apple Watch, it is possible to use that instead. This is handy if you don't have a heart rate strap or just don't have one to hand, or possibly you find the heart rate strap uncomfortable around your chest when you're close to your maximum heart rate, breathing heavily in a Zwift workout or race. One final scenario is your heart rate strap is AMP Plus only and you want to get heart rate with an iPad, Apple TV or Mac that only have Bluetooth, without any additional accessories. There are two ways to pair your Apple Watch to Zwift. The simplest method assumes you're using Zwift on your iPhone, which I'll go over first. The second method will work even if you're playing Zwift on your PC, Mac, Apple TV or an iPad. There are a few more steps, but it generally works okay. If you stick around to the end, I'll discuss my experiences with the setup and compare the accuracy of the Apple Watch against my Wahoo chest strap. Note this feature is still in beta, so the pairing process may well change, but I'll provide any updates in the description below. Download Zwift on your iPhone if you haven't already. Then open the Watch app on your iPhone and install the Zwift app on your Apple Watch. Open the Zwift app and log in. Accept any Bluetooth permission requests. In the pairing screen, pair to your trainer under power source. Here I'm pairing to my Cyclops Hammer Smart Trainer, which also sends cadence. Tap on heart rate and your Apple Watch should be listed. If you receive a prompt regarding health data access, tap on customize and turn all health permissions on. Tap on let's go. Open the Swift app on your Apple Watch and start riding. The status on the Apple Watch will change from unpaired in white to in-game in green and your heart rate will show up here and in the game. When you next open the app, everything should be automatically connected. And when you start riding, the Apple Watch Swift app will automatically start up and send your heart rate across to Zwift. This works even if you deliberately close the app on your Apple Watch. If this doesn't work correctly, firstly check you haven't turned Bluetooth off, then go into Settings, Health, Data Access and Devices and tap on Zwift. Tap on Turn All Categories On. At the very minimum, you'll need heart rate switched on. In game, try going back into the pairing screen and again choose Apple Watch under Heart Rate. It doesn't matter whether you connect your trainer over Bluetooth or Ant Plus, it's possible to use the Zwift Companion app to send your Apple Watch's heart rate across to the game. Download the Zwift Companion app if you haven't already. And this is the bit that caught me out initially. Install the Zwift Companion app on your Apple Watch 2, listed as just Companion in the iPhone Watch app. It's easy to get it confused with the Zwift Apple Watch app because they both look identical when you open them. Open Zwift. Here I'm playing on a gaming PC with an Ant Plus connection to my smart trainer. Choose your trainer as usual, but make sure your heart rate strap isn't paired under heart rate. If it is, tap on Unpair. Start a ride. Open the Zwift Companion app on your iPhone. Then open the Zwift Companion app on your Apple Watch, which has a blue icon, not the Zwift app, which has the orange icon. As usual, when using the Companion app, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the Zwift game, but you also need a reliable Wi-Fi connection for this to work at its best. The Companion app needs to be open and the in-game screen loaded. Go back to your pairing screen, tap A on a PC, or tap the screen, choose Menu, and tap the Bluetooth pairing icon on an iPad. Under Heart Rate, choose Apple Watch, and go back to the game. You should get a health permissions prompt in the Zwift Companion app on your iPhone. Tap OK. Tap on Turn All Categories On and then Allow. If you've already been using this app and didn't get the prompt, go to Settings, Health, Data Access and Devices and tap on Companion. Make sure everything is turned on. If you don't see the Companion app listed here, close the Companion app and try reopening it. It needs to be listed here with at least heart rate access turned on for this to work. Now go back to Device Pairing in the game and again select the Apple Watch under Heart Rate. With any luck, you should now see your heart rate displayed on your watch with the in-game in green underneath, and your heart rate will be sent across to the companion app and displayed in-game on your PC, Mac, Apple TV or iPad. If this doesn't work for any reason, you'll need to check the following. All health permissions are enabled in the companion app settings on your iPhone. You may need to initiate a connection to the Apple Watch to trigger the health permissions prompt. The Zwift companion app is open on your iPhone and the in-game screens are loaded up. You should see a blue Bluetooth icon in the top right corner. If you tap on this, you'll see your Apple Watch connected. You'll need a good Wi-Fi connection too. Check the Wi-Fi signal. The Zwift Companion app needs to be open on your Apple Watch. When you next load the game, so long as you have the Zwift Companion app on your iPhone loaded, Zwift should connect to all your devices, including your Apple Watch automatically. And when you start riding, the Apple Watch app will open up and start transmitting your heart rate. For this setup, my Windows gaming PC is connected to Zwift via Ant Plus and Trainer Road via Bluetooth. I'm doing a workout on Trainer Road with a Wahoo Ticker X chest heart rate strap. Trainer Road is controlling the smart trainer's resistance. Zwift is connected over Ant Plus to the trainer, getting power and cadence. And heart rate is coming from the Apple Watch via Bluetooth to the iPhone and Wi-Fi to Zwift on the PC. I was quite surprised at how well this feature worked. There were dropouts that I'll look at more closely shortly, but the actual heart rate measurements very closely tracked my chest strap. Comparing the measurements in DC Rainmaker's analysis tool, you can see just how comparable the data is, tracking almost perfectly for the entire one hour ride. 
You can see it's just a little slow to respond to changes in effort compared to the chest strap, but it's not significant. Dropouts were slightly more of an issue, dropping out entirely for a couple of minutes mid-ride. Strangely, the heart rate data was still displaying on the iPhone Swift Companion app, but just not making it to the PC, so possibly a Wi-Fi issue. If I enable show zeros on the graph, you can see that there were a few mostly insignificant single dropouts throughout most of the workout. I was putting quite a few demands on my system in this test, running both Swift and Trainer Road on the same PC. And although the computer was connected over Ethernet, Ant Plus, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are all operating in the same frequency band. And the PC also connects wirelessly via Bluetooth to an Amazon Echo. There are a few opportunities for interference with the fairly circuitous route the Apple Watch heart rate data takes to the PC. So I tried to work out on Zwift over Ant Plus without running Trainer Road. As you can see in this workout, the Apple Watch had no drops and worked flawlessly. Overall, I'm tempted to start using my Apple Watch instead of my chest strap, especially for harder workouts and races. If you've tried this yourself, please let me know your experiences down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.